I have a great gin cocktail for you as we're making cocktails at home. Today I was going through the fridge trying to find a unique ingredient that we could use to make cocktails at home and I came across the eggs. And I thought, people have been using eggs to make cocktails for hundreds of years. Why not talk about them today while we're in the kitchen making cocktails? Here's my bartender trick for getting the egg yolk. I grab the shaker tin by the side and I just drop the egg yolk gently down the side. If you have gadgets and gizmos at home that help you separate egg whites, go ahead and use them. Either way, we just want to separate it. If you want to use the egg yolk in the cocktail, it's called a flip, but today we're not doing that. So just using a regular Hawthorne strainer and a shaker tin, it's that simple. I'm keeping the egg yolk away from the rest of the cocktail. Blood orange margarita mixer. This is a blood orange juice from Sicily mixed with cane sugar. It's so amazing. The versatility of the blood orange sour is so fantastic. Now, let's get on to some more trickiness. I wanna shake this up. Now, some people use the spring from a, uh, from a shaker ball. I'm just gonna take the spring right off of my strainer today and drop it in there, okay? And we're gonna shake this up. This is called a dry shake. So yeah, your little protein balls, or your protein shakers, uh, making drinks in the morning. Here we go. Let me show you how this spring just froths up the egg white. There it is. Got a beautiful froth in there. Makes the cocktail taste so much different because of the froth on there. Okay, let's get going with the gin. One ounce of gin, your favorite gin. And I have a cherry liqueur here, just half an ounce of cherry liqueur. Uh, this is a nice dark cherry liqueur. There's also a maraschino cherry liqueur. Any kind of fruity liqueur will work in this drink because of the versatility of the blood orange mix. Now, some ice cubes. We had the dry shake. Now we're going to the wet shake. So we're shaking this twice. Yeah, there's a couple of different stages in this cocktail, but the result is a really nice, smooth, velvety cocktail. Shaking for dilution, as well as a little bit more froth. I have my coupe glass. This is great in a martini glass or a coupe glass. You're making the cocktails at home, so you get to decide how they're made and make all your changes and just experiment with different flavors and see how it works. Hawthorne strainer on my shaker. And this is a tea strainer or a fine strainer. And like a fancy mixologist would do in a fancy cocktail bar. Just straining it right through there. This extra strain tightens the, uh, the froth. It makes it a little thicker, a little richer, if you will. Good stuff. Now, here comes something special for the garnish. I have a fancy cocktail spoon. It has a little fairy on the end of it here. And there's bitters inside this little atomizer. You can actually drop vodka with a little bit of food coloring and make this any color you want. I'm going to put this in a stencil. Any stencil would do. This one just happens to be on the end of a bar spoon and it works perfectly. Spraying all the way around. I've put a nice stencil of the little fairy on here, and I call this cocktail the Dancing Dixie. So the Dancing Pixie is a great gin cocktail using egg whites that, uh, that is designed to look and feel and taste like a cocktail that you would get in a fancy cocktail bar. We're making cocktails at home, so I wanted to make a more simple whiskey cocktail but we still want to make it look like a fancy cocktail bar. So here I'm just taking two thin slices of lemon, laying them on the inside of the glass, pouring a few ice cubes over top. Those ice cubes will hold the lemons up against the side of the glass, and when I pour that out, it's gonna look really, really cool. All right, moving on to the egg again. We'll take the eggs, whoop, haha, <laughs> and Nice and gently, wrap it on the side of the shaker tin, pulling back and dropping the egg 
down the side of the shaker tin. Want to make sure we don't break that yolk. And nice and simple. There we go. Oh yeah. Instead of separating the ingredients like I did with the uh, dancing pixie, this time I'm just going to pour them all together. There's two ounces of your favorite whiskey. Two ounces of Master Mixes white peach. Now here we have a blend of beautiful white peaches and cane sugar. And two ounces of Master of Mixes sweet and sour mixer. Lemon juice and cane sugar. This is California lemon juice. Again, all of these ingredients in Master of Mixes sourced from the world's finest growing regions. Elevating this cocktail with a, just a couple of dashes of Angostura bitters. And this is the, uh, the spring from your protein shake in the morning, just using that to, uh, to help aerate the uh, cocktail and the egg white. So let's give this what we call the dry shake. Just to froth it up, just like that, give it a good solid whack. And this strain is really just to catch that spring from falling into the drink. Following up with a few ice cubes and the wet shake. So this is a very simple recipe that's actually right on the back of the Master of Mixes white peach bottle, but we've added egg whites and a dash of Angostura, so we've elevated this cocktail into something a little bit more restaurant worthy. Just allowing you to play with your cocktails. One last little piece of lemon sitting right inside there. So you've got the lemons all the way around up out of the glass. Looks really, really cool. There's the Kentucky peach as we're making cocktails in the kitchen. Another great whiskey cocktail, just a three ingredient cocktail traditionally, a whiskey sour. I'm actually going to add a little bit of egg white and make this cocktail a tiny bit more sophisticated. All right. Again, reaching for the egg whites, whoop. They're right here, they're pasteurized egg whites. A little different than our raw egg. They come in a little carton. There's all kinds of different uh, egg white substitutes. You can go and research those, and I encourage you to go on your own journey to find uh, how you can add the texture and flavor of egg whites to cocktails. So let's make this nice and simple. Just one ounce of pasteurized egg whites and two ounces of whiskey. Your favorite whiskey, whether it's a bourbon or a rye or Irish, however you like your whiskeys. Master of Mixes, Juices and Syrups, single pressed lemon juice. That's all that's in here. It's just lemon juice. And did you see that little clip on the side there? That way when you're making cocktails at home, you can get the uh, little cap out of the way but not lose it. And one ounce of single pressed lemon juice from California and simple syrup. It's just sugar and water. That's why they call it simple. And one ounce of that. So our Sweet and sour are in balance with each other. A little bit of egg white and some whiskey, ice cubes. I'm gonna skip the whole section with the spring and the double straining and all that. And we'll just shake it up. There it is. Oh, you can see that beautiful froth in there. It's got a rocks glass or a whiskey sour glass, if you will. Hawthorn. Look at that beautiful froth over top of that drink. Looks great. And a fresh lemon. Squeeze and drop it on top. And if you want to take this up another level, a tiny bit more sophistication, a little red wine. Had some left over from the other night. 